Well, she's one of America's favorite sisters and foodies. Now Netflix star Tia Mowry Hardrick joins us with a scoop on work, life, and all things food. Tia, thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's no secret that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. We're all taught that. What are some of the trends that we're seeing when it comes to breakfast foods? Well, you know, first of all, I'm really excited to be partnering up with Quakers. It's something that I grew up on. Um, you know, not only that, um, Quakers, you know, they have been a family favorite for 142 years, which is a long time. And it's something that I still have in my pantry today. I love it because of, you know, its wholesome ingredients and its versatility. Um, what's really cool is you mentioned, you know, some breakfast trends. Quaker, they actually conducted a survey where um, they found some really interesting finds. Um, and one trend that really stands out for me is 3% of Americans, they like hot sauce oh, on their oatmeal. That's like, weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's interesting, but it's something that I'm definitely going to have to try out. Definitely. Okay, so what are some of the more normal things that we're typically used to seeing the way that you like to use oats? Uh, well, you know, right now I absolutely love um, pancakes during the weekend, so I like to throw some oats in my pancakes. Um, we have something called Pancake Sunday at my house, um, and it's no surprise um, because actually um, the survey that was conducted, they found that um, Americans, they find, uh, they have this nostalgic feeling mm. when it comes to um, eating breakfast, um, and they tend to be inspired by whatever, you know, foods that they grew up on. So pancakes <laughs> is something that I definitely would eat on the weekends during my my childhood. So I just enjoy it with my family and it's it's a great way to add some oats in there. You know, yeah. it's it's loaded with fiber and yeah, it's it's delicious. So now it's so easy to talk about, you know, your childhood when we're talking about something that's so nostalgic, but you have two beautiful, beautiful kids. What are some ways that you're kind of incorporating Aww, that with your family now? I'm sorry, say that again. What are some ways that you're incorporating that nostalgia feeling with your kids now? Oh, with, with my kids? Yeah. I mean, I think it's just, you know, passing down uh, the traditions that I used to have, you know, when when growing up, um, having breakfast in the morning and spending that quality time with your family is something that's really important to me. And it's something that I would do with, you know, my family, um, my mom, my dad, my brothers and my sisters, and also, you know, cooking with them. And, and actually, I make incredible oatmeal uh, for my son um, in the mornings. And I actually make these really cool um, oatmeal uh, like balls for my daughter. Love it. And just spending time with them in the kitchen and yeah, just creating those memories. Awesome. So where can we find some more information? Well, if you guys want to get in on the Quaker Oats Fun, um, you can definitely go to cookwithquaker.com and um, share some of your favorite recipes, and you'll have an opportunity actually to win $1,000 or also um, have your recipe showcased in the Quaker Oats uh, cookbook. I love it. All right, thank you so much, T. You guys can head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to check this segment out again.